enable for you to add an iframe to a page, the first thing that we need to do is, of course, go to the page. Then we need to click on Edit Layout, Edit Shared Layout, which allows us to add modules to the page. Now once we see our Edit Shared Layout window, we can go ahead and click on Create New Module. The type of module will be iframe. And then we can go ahead and give our module name and a description. And then we can go ahead and select which pane we want our module to be added. In this case, we can go ahead and select content pane or any pane that you please. And then we click on add. Once your iframe has been added, we also got to verify our permissions by clicking on module settings. Depending on the occasion, whether this is going to be visible to our distributors or to the public. So then below here, of course, you want to hide certain areas here or you just want to place a check here to hide a print icon, roll up module icon, also the help, and then verify the permissions for read-only access is set correctly and always make sure that the read-write access for the administrator has been selected. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click Save and Close. Now, we could go ahead and click on Edit Content. Of course, we have to put the detail. It could be the title of the document and the URL website address of the document. So in this case, what this means is that we need to enter the URL address of our site. So that way, the document can be pulled into the server and be viewed. Now, in a separate tab, what you can do is go to any HTML editor module, click Edit Content, and when you get to this point, you want to click on your Document Manager, upload the PDF file that you want to upload, and then click Upload. Okay, and then your new document is going to be here, so you can go ahead and click Insert. Now what we need to do is click right on top of the document link and we need to grab the URL of the file where it's located. Then we go back to our iframe page and then we need to type in the whole URL of your website. Now as soon as we enter .com then we can go ahead and paste the file path where the document is placed and we enter a height number and make sure that we do not touch, allow the frame to have scroll bars and set border around frame. We can leave these options as it is and then we click save and close. Okay, so now we're going to have our tools as we are viewing a PDF file online. We can zoom in, zoom out, we could print directly, we could click on the disk here to save this document into our computer, external hard drive or jump drive. We can search for certain words or phrases, the document, right here. We can actually change the view of the document depending on how many pages you have. But this is how you are able to create a iframe using a PDF file.